In today's video, I am going to rank all of the AFL songs from A plus to this is the worst song I've ever heard. We're going to start with Adelaide Crows. So here is their song. Okay. It's quite catchy. Uh, I, I think it's quite easy to learn the songs eventually. It's quite catchy. It's got, you know, the trumpets and things. It's a solid start from the Adelaide Crows. Now, I don't think it's the best song I've ever heard. Uh, so if I'm going to go with the Crows, I'm going to give them a solid B. That may change. You never know. But I think a B for the Adelaide Crows, it's a decent song. <laughs> A solid start with the Adelaide Crows. Now, I think B is a fair one. We're going to move on to the Brisbane Lions. Ah. Uh. Da, 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 da. We are the pride of Brisbane town. We wear the roll, blue and gold. I know a lot of these songs take take sort of music from elsewhere. I know I know that start of that. Hang on, I, I definitely know the start of that, right? Is it? <laughs> Partly happy birthday, but it's something else. Please tell me, and I know it's in my head. There's, a, there's something else. I think this Brisbane Lions, and it's really annoying. You know when you know a song and you can't work out where it's from? That is another song that, that they've they've chucked in there. And I can't work it out. However, it is quite boring. I could fall asleep and that was quite boring. So, Brisbane Lions, I'm going down with, a, with an E. It's not quite the worst. I'm sure it's not quite the worst. Brisbane Lions are going with an E. It might change, but it probably won't. Next up, we have the Carlton Blues. I don't know why I said the Carlton Blues. Carlton Blues. Let's give this one a go. Let's see if their song is more entertaining than their team. That will get people going. Oh, God. Just chick, like... The start of that song was like um, Mary Poppins. I'm thinking Dick Van Dyke or something, singing and something like that. Not a good start, Carlton. This is proper old school. Oh God. Right. The only thing, the only praise I can give the Carlton song is that maybe in like the 50s or 40s or 30s, that was a cracking song. That fits the time. And I know um, a lot of these songs were de devised a long time ago and they fit in the time. But what I'm talking about is now, how do they, how do they hold up now? 
That is one awful song. I'm going to currently put it in E, but it may go down because that was truly awful. Uh, I've got no time for that. I'm sorry. Please don't be offended if I don't like your team song. It's a matter of opinion. Some people might like it. I, however, did not. Now, it is ABC, anything but Collingwood, but will they impress me with their team song? Oh, lively. Good old Collingwood forever. This is better. This is better. to play the game. Side by side we stick together to uphold the magpie's name. See the barracas are shouting as all barracas should. All the premierships are cake warm for the good old Okay, word-wise, not that catchy. How, except the calling wood. Um, however, the tune behind is upbeat, it's fun, it's, 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 let's go Collingwood, it's, it's exciting. So, I think, I think I'm going to put it in B. I'm going to put it in B for now, once again, it might change. B's quite high at the moment, that's not bad, it's a catchy tune. Words a little bit lacking. Um, Collingwood Magpies in B. Yeah, definitely. It's not a bad song at all. I, I want something that really gets me. Next up, we will have Essendon. Essendon Bombers. Let's go. Ooh. A little bit of banjo going on. Catch, uh, like catches in the beat of the song. My only issue with this is there's too many words. I, I, and I think it's it's a bit complicated in the term in terms of how long each each sort of each phrase is and and it's a bit much. Like I suppose if look if you support that team if you support Bombers you are absolutely fine no problem at all. But I think it's a bit wordy. It's a little bit wordy. Let's see if what else they've got. Hang on. dragging a bit now okay i don't mind it I, I i think with once again the tune is quite good the beats and, and the speed of it is uplifting it's fun um so i'm going to give it a b because i think it's on par it's 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 having the same problems as i think that the collingwood and, and adelaide crows had the words aren't great that one was a bit too wordy so i think next up this let's talk let's go for the Fremantle Dockers. Let's see what they've got to offer. Oh yes. Oh yes. Straight away, right? The tune is completely different. The other ones are quite old fashioned, right? They are quite old fashioned and it, it makes sense of the time that, you know, they were created. But the Fremantle Dockers come rocking in and it is like classic sort of 70s, 80s rock. It's the words are fairly, you know... <laughs> The words are fairly straightforward. I am liking this already. I'm enjoying this. Real. 
don't know the meaning of the words except Frio. Frio. Something ruckus. We are the mighty Frio Docus. <laughs> this, I'm going to keep listening to this because this is quality. Love it. I love it. I, I, I'm going. This is a great one. That, boom. Boom up there. That is incredible. Free Mantle Dockers. You know, I'm predicting they do well this year. And that has just topped it off with an amazing, amazing song. Okay, next is Geelong Cats. Now, I know what the Geelong Cats song is because I heard it a lot at the AFL Grand Final last year. So this this is in my head. Ah, here we go. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. I, I think I actually it was annoying because it was really annoying because actually although obviously I was there for the Swans I kept having to listen to the Geelong song and considering they absolutely hammered us their song was quite catchy and it was playing it was playing over and over again so I constantly had to listen to it and it was sort of bittersweet it was quite a fun song but they hammered us. I, I'm going to put it as an A. I, I, it's definitely not as good as Dockers. No way is it as good as Dockers. But it's fun. It's catchy. The words aren't that difficult. Let's finish it off. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Great. Really good. Next up, we're going to to the Suns. Uh, Gold Coast Suns. Don't recall hearing this, so let's let's go. Oh. Oh. You think you're going in with the old school with the trumpets like the other old fashioned ones, and then boom, 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 it, it hits you with a it hits you, it's sort of half rock, half old style, whatever you know. Uh, what would you class it as? Orchestra? No, brass band type thing. Straight away. We are the mighty Gold Coast Suns. We play to win the flag for you. Fight, fight, fight till we hold on the car. Run, 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 go away. Hey. Really like this. I, I, I don't think it's quite on, on, on par with, um, right, no, I'm, what I'm going to do now, this, okay, crows are going down to sea. Collingwood are going to see, Essendon are going to see, uh, to see, Geelong are going down to B because this song, I don't think it's quite as good as Dockers because they haven't gone like full on rock. They've sort of merged two. I, it's going to go A, A. So that's really good. Really, really good. Let's, let's listen a bit more. It's that dush, dush, dush. That 
That has honestly just put a smile on my face. Do you know what? I'm, 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 I'm just imagining now being at the Gold Coast, nice weather, okay, and hearing that come on, a, a cider in my hand. Ah, it's no, do you know what? I'm putting on par. I'm, I'm an A star. Dockers and Sons, both A star. I, that has really got me. Both of those have put a smile on my face. I, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, but unfortunately, we've got to move on to the GWS Giants, Greater Western Sydney Giants. Will they also impress? Are we on a roll now? Heard this one. Well, there's a big, big sound from the west of the town. It's the sound of the mighty Giants. See, I know where I'm going to put it already. I know I'm going to put it. The thing is with this song, the, the, their nickname is The Giants, and you feel like it is giants that are singing it. You know, from the actual music to the to the lyrics, you know, and, and the vocals, you, you feel like it's a giant singing it. That's, it, it it's really weird to think, actually, because it does sound like that. Feel the ground is shaking, the other teams are quaking in their boots before the giants. Absolutely quality. It's absolutely quality. I really enjoyed that. Um, it, it's. I'm going to put it in an a, in a. It's not quite a plus, but it's. It's almost. It's making me think of um, doing the doing the flute for snakes. The snakes. Um, the snake wranglers. Not wranglers. You know what I mean. That in India and whatnot, when they get the snakes up and whatnot. That's what it's reminding me of for some reason. Okay. I did thoroughly enjoy GWS, but now we are on to the Hawks. Let's keep the roll going. Come on, Hawks, don't let me down. We're a happy team at Hawthorne. We're a happy team at Hawthorne. What? That is like, that is hardly threatening. That is hardly tribalistic. That's hardly a war cry, is it? We're a happy team at Hawthorne. We're the mighty fighting Hawks. We love our club and we play to win. Riding the fox with a grin at Hawthorne. Come what may you find us striving. Teamwork is the thing that talks. Okay. My main issue with this song is the lyrics are just a little bit pathetic. A little bit wimpy. A little bit, I want a bit more fighting talk rather than, oh, we're all mates. Yeah, we'll try our hardest. We're all friends. I'm sorry, Hawthorne. Uh, the mus uh, Musically, it's very similar to Crows, Magpies and Essendon, but the words are really pathetic. Uh, like, embarrassingly pathetic. So, Hawks, uh, sorry, you you're down in D. Don't mind the tune. But you're down in D, I'm sorry. Next up, the demons. It's a grand old flag, it's a high flying bag. It's the emblem for me and for you. It's the emblem of the team we love, the team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue as we sing the song to you. Singing old Lang Syne. I do find it funny that they, you know, as I said before, these songs are adding so these old songs from like old Lang Syne. I know that one. I still can't remember the others. You will hopefully have told me by now. Um, but old Lang Syne is chucked in there. And I appreciate it links to some history maybe with, with the demons and, and, and the other teams that had them. It's a grand old flag, it's a high flying flag, it's the emblem for me and for you. 
Okay. Ah, that's enough of that. I think I get the gist. Now, it's upbeat. Okay, so this is the thing. So the reason I put put those into C was because the the music was okay, but the lyrics lacked a little bit. Whereas the demons, I think on par is the is the is the actual tune, but I think the lyrics are a little bit more simple. Uh, they they they're easier to sing. So I'm going to put it in B. It's not amazing. It's nowhere near as good as the Dockers, Sons or Giants, but it's it's good. I don't, I don't mind that one at all. Next up, we're going to North Melbourne Kangaroos. Come on, the Roos. You've got to do something right this season. <laughs> Once again, it's wimpy. It's really wimpy, isn't it? It's a little bit pathetic. The tune's not even that good. I like at least the Hawks tune was slightly good, but wimpy lyrics. This is sort of wimpy and rubbish lyrics. That's a tune I've heard of. No, I'm bored. I'm bored already. North, uh, you're going down in E with with. With Carlton and Brisbane. I'm sorry, but that was quite boring. Now, on to Port Adelaide. And no, I don't think their song is in excess, unfortunately. So let's see what their tune actually is. It's like they're just about to fire the cannons at one of these castles in England or something, you know? You know, stand by. We got the power to win. Finally. Whoa, that took way too long to get it started. But maybe it was like they're about to fire the cannons and then all of a sudden the, the cannons come and boom. Yes. It's almost something that could have been sung by by a band like Status Quo or something like that. That's fun. The 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 start lets it down big time. But whoa, it hits you. Power! Really like that. I'm trying to think what it sounds like. I said a bit of status quo, maybe a little bit of Bucks Fizz, if you've heard of Bucks Fizz. Um, that sort of 80s, 90s feel. That's fun. Or I could see that um, over here where we have like caravan parks and you go in the evening and they, they have put on shows and stuff and they do party dances. That is that. And I'm going to give it an A. It, it started off way too slow. But the whole, the power to win, uh, uh, that was good fun. I like that. It's easy to sing along to. That makes a big, big effort there. Enjoyable. Some of these are cracking. And, and that, like the 70s and 80s vibe on them is awesome. Next up, Richmond Tigers. I hope there's some roaring going on. Otherwise, I'm going to be really disappointed. Fury, we're from Tigerland. In any weather, you will see us with a grin. Risking head and 
skin. If we're behind, then never mind. We'll fight and fight and win, for we're from Tigerland. Okay, I know where it's going to go. It's going to be a C, because straight away, it's got the tune. The lyrics are a little bit wordy, but they're okay. They're not wimpy. Uh, it, it's not up with Cats because and Melbourne Demons, because that's a little bit more catchy. Straight away, I will listen to more, but I'm going to put that as a C. That's a steady C there. We never weak until the final siren's gone. Like the tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold, for we're from tiger, yellow and black. We're... Oh, yellow and black. Yeah, and it's not too bad. Uh, it, I don't mind that. Uh, so I think a, a C. It's okay. It's not jumping me out of my seat or anything. Next up is St. Kilda Saints. Now, pretty much all teams that have the nickname Saints sing Oh When the Saints. I am a Southampton supporter and we are the Saints. Oh When the Saints go marching in. I want to know if they sing it in the same way that we sing. We, oh When the Saints, Oh When the Saints, Oh When the Saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. Oh When the Saints go marching in. Oh When the Saints, Oh When the Saints, Oh When the... Anyway, that's how we sing it. Let's see how they sing it. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, how I want to be with St. Kilda. See, I, I appreciate what they've done there because they've spun it to be more in the in the aim of St. Kilda rather than just the normal St. Saint, Saint song. Don't know if I like it because I'm used to what I'm used to. Let's give it more of a chance. When the saints go marching in. See, that's when you get the crowd going, oh, when the saints, oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. So you get half the crowd saying one thing and then the half the crowd saying it in a, in a different sort of tone. The Saints go marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Shame St. Kilda are rubbish. Uh, <laughs> that'll get people. Um, you, the thing is, it's Oh, when the Saints. You've got to appreciate the song Oh, when the Saints. It's easy to sing. Straight away, it's easy to sing, right? So, it, it's a B. It's a B. It's not getting you out of your seat that much, really, is it? I don't think their version is that exciting. I think my version is, you know, the one that all the fans sing is more exciting. But it's a B. It's a decent B. Next up, I have learnt most of the lyrics, okay? I have learnt most of the lyrics. It gets me near the end. Literally the four-fifths of it. Um, the fourth-fifth of it, should I say. Uh, but here are the mighty Sydney Swans. Are you ready for this? I will be singing. Cheer, yeah, cheer the red and the white. Honour the name by day and by night. Lift that noble banner high. Shake down the thunder from the sky. What though the odds be great or small, Swans will go on and win over all. While the loyal sons are marching onwards to victory. There's literally in that. Yeah, there is there is just those two lines really. Shake down the thunder from the sky and what what though the odds be great or small. That is the bits I just cannot quite get grips. Anyway, when you get it, it's quite fun. It's quite good to sing all together. So it's, it's going up there, just so you know. <laughs> Gonna try again without the lyrics on my phone. When it goes, ready? Cheer the red and the white, honor the day by day and by night. Lift that noble banner high, shake down the thunder. 
from the sky. What though the odds be great or small, swans will go in and win over all. Oh, I messed that right up, didn't I? Onwards to victory. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the problem is, I am biased, um, so tough luck. It is my list, so tough luck. Um, they're not. It's not going A+, plus, but it is going a solid A. Especially that final. It's not that long. It's not too complicated. I'm still struggling to get the middle bit, but anyway. It's that ending. Onwards to victory. Anyway, that's great. When you when that when you're in the stadium and doing that. Anyway, we've got two left. West Coast Eagles. Okay. And we finish with Western Bulldogs. So let's go West Coast Eagles. This is so early nineties. Uh, once again. Like the Caravan Park style party song. At least the lyrics are easy to remember. We're flying high. Here we go. And we're here to show you why. Where the big birds keep out the big game. Where the eagles, we're flying high. Where the eagles, West Coast eagles. And we're here to show you why. All I would like. This is sort of like, uh, I said, early 90s, like Chesney Hawks style song. Um, I've lost my mind, as in I can't think of others that are similar uh, because I do like 80s and early 90s songs. But all I would like is it to be a little bit more fast paced and upbeat. It's quite a simple lyrics, which is great to sing. Um, but I just like it to have a bit more energy. Come on, come on, this is where you go now. No, you let me down, Eagles. Uh, I want a bit more pace. Like, it's, it's good in the fact that you can remember it. It's easy to sing. That's a plus, right? Um, but it's, I want more energy. So I'm going to put it in, in B. But I want more energy. Oh, that's such a shame. Anyway. Western Bulldogs. What do Western Bulldogs have to offer? Come on, Bulldogs. Don't let me down. I expect a fighting song here because it's Bulldogs. Half fighting, half wimpy. I, I give our best. I don't care. I just want. I want. We're the bulldogs. We're going to bite you. We will defeat you, and we will rip you apart. That's why. <laughs> Is that a bit much? Is that a bit much? I'm sorry. Um, let's give it another chance. Hang on. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I can't do it anymore. Uh, Western Bulldogs, I'm going to give them a C. Like, I want a little bit more fighting spirit. Their name is the Bulldogs, for Christ's sake. You know, for me, you think of the British Bulldog. This tough, rugged, stiff upper lip. You know, tough, tough animal. And uh, it's not really produced that. It's half wimpy, half fighting. Mm, it's a bit boring. Now, there is the list at the moment. But I have to have one in this is the worst and because basically that's what i've done i think it's fair to say the dockers and the sons definitely have the best songs definitely they are quality 
Giants, Power and Sydney Swans definitely in the A list. And then hope, hopefully it makes sense why I put the others in B, C and D. They all had similar, similar tunes, but it was partly down to the vocals. And are they catchy? Are they a little bit wimpy like the Hawks? And then the ones in E, they were just really boring. And I've got to decide Lions, Blues or Kangaroos in the worst. So let's quickly go back. The Lions. Little recap. What do I know that song? Right, I've made my mind up on that one. I'm going to change my mind slightly. Uh, it's actually more catchy than I thought. I'm actually going to move Lions up to D. So they're out of it now. They're out of the drop. They're out of the drop. Let's go to Carlton. See what Carlton's got. If it's going to change my mind. <laughs> Imagine being a Carlton fan, having a boring song and a boring team. That's <laughs> going to get the comments going. Oh, but we've got Crips. Okay, that's all you've got. Um... Okay, I don't even need to hear any more. And quickly, North. It's a bit more upbeat. It's a bit... There you go. My decision's been made. Carlton, I'm so sorry if you're a Carlton fan, but Carlton has the worst AFL song out of all of them. But the best is the Dockers and the Gold Coast Suns. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you disagree with, with my choices. If you do disagree, then unlucky, I made the list. Thank you so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. We've got plenty of live watch alongs throughout the season where you can join me watching the game as if we're in the same living room as each other. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.